To create objects via a form, we need an API endpoint. Let's create one. We choose the data structure, features, then name the endpoint, let it be feature request, and of course describe it. Setting up a security layer, we see the default condition, ID is not null. The condition closes API endpoint for non-authorized users. In the layer, we choose the fields available for reading, for get requesting, and for writing, for post requesting. We have picked ID for reading and several fields including description, title, user ID, and tags for writing. OK. Next, go to the Web Pages section and create a new page. Fill in the title, then the page root, and choose in the icon. I fancy that one. All right. And here we see the section. Add by dragging and dropping the form to the section and choose the API endpoint that we just have created. Here we see the, the fields. All right. Let's change slightly an order, title, description, then tags, and we don't need that field who requested to be the part of the form. All right, that is the form, let's try to fill it out. Title my first feature, then some description, and note that that is a markdown text and we could add some formatting like that. OK, submitting, and let's check the data structure. We are going to the Features table, and here we are. The new, the new object, the feature. I don't want non-registered users to fill out the form, so we are going to the Web Portal Settings, Security tab, and turning on Authentication and signing up. OK, let's reload the page and that is the sign up option. I'm filling the form, first name, last name, email and the password. All right. Great, I have signed it up. Now we are going to the form. One more time to the fields tab and then we are turning on the including hidden user's ID automatically. Let's try to fill out the form one more time. The title would be my second feature, some description, submit, and let's check the, the data structure, features. All right, here's the second object and the link to app users. That is another data structure, app users or web users, where we store our users' IDs with encrypted passwords. Then I would love to edit tags fields. I am turning on quick search. Remember, tags is the directory field. Then I am turning on required option for title and description. You see, I cannot submit until I fill the, those required fields. And here we are. That is how link and array link fields work when the, when the option of uh, quick search is on. Okay. All right, we see the array of tags. Everything is correct. Let's have a look one more time to the forum fields and we see the, the alert that API endpoint is public. Remember, at the very beginning we removed the condition on user session. Let's put it back. ID is not null, is not empty. OK. Great. 
everything is correct. And the form works as well. Let's add some design features. We add the header to the page. And let's set the width of the form to 400 pixels. Yeah, lovely. 